All right, welcome to another figure update video. So I'm gonna try to make these video updates. I'm gonna aim for weekly, but I'll probably do bi-weekly, especially if there's not a lot of figures that I'm personally interested in. But yeah, this is gonna be a pretty short video. But before I start, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, please check out my blog at otakusin.com and comment what you guys think about these figures. So yeah, the first figure I actually wanna talk about is the Maki Zainin. Kota Bukia RFXJ 1.8 scale. And I I messed up, guys. I messed up and I waited a little bit too long to pre-order for the bonus face. So I actually ended up pre-ordering off of hobbygenki.com. And I'm pretty sure I got the last pre-order. So I lost the buy now pay later option. Uh, I waited too long for that. So I actually had to end up paying for the figure which is fine because, you know, I actually really want this figure with the bonus face. The bonus face really matters. I think a lot of us prefer the bonus face over the regular face of Maki. But yeah, in the last video, I talked about the E-Stream one, but um, I didn't really, I, I can't really find uh, any updates about that figure. So yeah, if that comes out, if E-Stream ever drops a, a Maki figure and it ends up being very cool, I'll probably just end up getting that too. But this Kota Bukia figure, I I like Maki. She's like my second. She's tied at second with another character as my favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character. So yeah, I want to get her while she still looks. <laughs> she still looks this way. So if you guys watch my last video, I talked about how I was like, almost caught up on the manga and I am officially caught up on the manga and I posted another blog post about my top 10 favorite Jujutsu Kaisen characters. There's a lot of spoilers on that but if you guys want to check that out go ahead check that out on my blog but yeah this figure I want it. <laughs> this is a very very good Maki figure. I've been waiting for something like pretty good quality of her to, to come out and it looks like Kota Bukia has a decent one that I would want. But the thing is, again, Hobby Genki, they're sold out there for right now. So you guys want to make sure to keep tabs on that just in case, you know, someone drops their pre-orders or they add more orders. But they are still available. If you're from the U.S., there's a the Koto Bukia, uh, Koto U.S. So you can still pre-order through them. And in Japan, in Japan, and they all come with the bonus face too. So if you buy from either of these, uh, their Kotobukiya websites from Japan or the US, they both come with a bonus face. So yeah, there are still opportunities to get her. It's just that you'll have to pay up front, which is, I, I'm, I believe most people don't want to pay up front. They'd rather put in their pre-order and pay as it comes out. I don't know anyone who'd want to pay up front for anything if they don't have to, right? Just keep your eyes out on uh, Hobby Genki if that's where you want to get it from, but you could still buy it from Kotobukiya, the website. And... The other two figures I actually want to talk about is the spy family figures. Yeah, so the interesting thing is, if you guys are from the U.S., Good Smile U.S., they have a partner product section, and they are accepting pre-orders for that Furu figure of Anya and Lloyd, and they're accepting it all the way up till September 7th. The thing is, guys, you are getting the Japanese prices at this Good Smile US website. So you can literally, this is probably the cheapest legitimate way to buy these figures for cheaper because if you look at Ami Ami, Anya is like 105. If you look at Lloyd, he's about 130 for the figure. And if you buy it off Good Smile US, it's only like a dollar or $2 more or less a little bit less technically so the thing about buying or pre-ordering from uh good smile us there's 50 percent off the shipping and i took a little screenshot of the shipping prices if you guys were to pre-order it off of good smile us the shipping prices is like 13 bucks ups ground for lloyd and then for the anya figure it's about seven dollars and 76 cents so if you guys don't care about when you're going to get your figure, you will buying it through the Good Smile US, you're most likely going to get this figure later than, let's say, people that's buying off AmiAmi or whatever. But if you want like the cheapest price and you want to buy uh, from a US store and you don't want you don't have to deal with customer service or anything overseas, I think Good Smile US 
is a very, very good way to lock in, you know, one of the cheapest prices possible. As you can see right here at Right Stuff Anime, if you go to Big Bad Toy Store, if you go to any other like US retail site, there you're most likely getting quoted for like 160 bucks and you probably have to pay tax and shipping and all that good stuff, right? So if you buy it from Good Smile US, you're getting like the best price possible and you don't have to worry about trying to buy buy anything from overseas. Amiami is a great website. Hobby Genki, all these like Japanese websites, they're really, really good. But for that one thing that might happen where you get an order that's like didn't come as it should, you have to deal with them overseas and hope that they help you. But if you buy it from a US store, there there's just a lot more leeway for you know the consumer domestically rather than overseas. That's just my opinion though. But what's fact is if you guys want to get this figure and you don't want to wait for the good small versions of Lloyd, Anya, and your man, this these prices, you know, they're these are solid prices for a US store. And for you, they haven't released the your prototype yet too. So we're all basically waiting on that. And yeah, I still haven't uh even on the Shonen Jump, I couldn't find it on the Shonen Jump calendar of Maki. She wasn't on the calendar for eStream, so I'm not too sure what to really make of the Maki Shibuya Scramble figure, what any updates are on that. If you guys know the updates, let me know because, you know, I'm really, really hyped for what it could potentially be. So, yeah, I still am keeping my eyes on that. And this is for probably no one... <laughs> I don't think anyone's really interested in bastard figures except like me. <laughs> so I'll show you guys this anyways because Shinari, uh, the last time I made the video, they just had the, the scope of her. Now they have her painted in. Of course, a lot of these figures, you know, they're very um, closer to being not safe for work or just straight up not safe for work. <laughs> so she looks good. They're supposed to look very attractive. She looks just like if you guys seen the anime on Netflix. Go check that out. I, I wrote a couple blog posts about Bastard, about whether or not you guys should, you know, spend your time to go watch it. And if you guys did watch it, I wrote like an in-depth blog post about that too. I really enjoy the show. I really enjoy where it's going. So I like a lot of the characters. And of course, a lot of the characters, they're very attractive. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. The biggest thing is, if you guys are wanting that Maki figure, she's still available on the Kotobukiya websites if you want the bonus face. But if you don't care about the bonus face, but I think you guys should care about the bonus face because the bonus face really reflects who Maki is. And Spy Family, if you guys like the Anya and the Lloyd Forger scale figure from Furu, the pre-order prices from Good Smile US can't be beat if you are from the US. If you're buying from Right Stuff or any other store, you're paying a huge premium. And if you're buying from Good Smile US, you are getting those Japanese prices and you don't have to pay those 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollar uh, prices for very, very fast shipping. And that is pretty much all I have to say. I'm trying to make more uh, price figure videos. I'm sure within the next month, I'm going to be getting a lot more figures coming in. And yeah, I'll try to make these videos at least a bi-weekly deal. And if there's a lot of stuff that comes out, I'm going to want to, you know, try to keep you guys updated about what I'm seeing and what I like. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please comment below what you guys think about all these figures. And don't forget to check out my blog at otakusen.com. And I'll see you guys on the next video.